Hey, just want to make a quick video for a fix. If you're passing, if your <sighs> car is having an airbag issue, uh, mine specifically had a B0074 and a B0081, 2007 Chevy Equinox. Um, it is the airbag module, sorry, the passenger presence module in the passenger seat that it just wears down and breaks somewhere internally or the wires are frayed. Um, causes the issue of the airbag sensor to not detect that someone is sitting there and when it doesn't detect it, sorry for the mess, when it doesn't detect that they're sitting there, the airbag light will always go off. So <clears throat> yeah, passing right now it's on because I've already fixed it. So I'm going to tell you guys what I did. Um, so essentially went to the scrapyard, did some research, but first got a found the same vehicle same year same everything it was pretty cool um, swapped it out put it back in before the issue was intermittent we were switched from on to off on to off uh, with the new one it was just constantly off so i'm like okay I need to go get it programmed so i uh, got to the got the dealership um, computer software programmed it reprogrammed it because you got a i forgot what it's called essentially program it you got to reset it rezone i'm forgetting the word anywho you gotta go to the dealer and use their software or find someone who has the dealer software and do it and get the seat programmed relearned in uh, that still didn't fix the issue so I think the new one I got from the junkyard was just junker than the broken first one I got so I kept digging 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 I was gonna <clears throat> try to bypass it or just make sure rewire it put a sense little wire in there and make it bypass it basically just so it always was detected someone in the seat couldn't figure out how to do that the wiring diagrams were not very helpful that i found so what i did was i stumbled across um an airbag 360. the airbag 360 websites just google airbag 360 and i think the website's airbag360.com um this they made the module already so either if you're smart enough and can find the correct wiring diagrams and your resistors whatnot you can probably make this pretty easy essentially just unplug it the plug is right here let me see if i can get it so here's the old plug from the seat or i guess this is the actual module sensor sorry so that one's in the seat right now i didn't bother taking it out and then here's the engine side plug just going in here and you just unplug it plug it in you do not have to do any reprogramming you don't have to take the dealer nothing it's just it fixes the issue right away um so yeah i need to zip tie that out of the way but my airbag is going to work now so if i'm ever in a wreck the passenger airbag will go off because it's that is just bypassing it saying someone is always sitting there <laughs> and the only other minor issue is since it's someone's always sitting there you have to have the seat belt buckled in i have yet to we need to figure out how to bypass that but you have to have this buckled otherwise it'll just tell you always that the passenger is not buckled up but simple fix is just buckle it up and yeah i'm gonna see if we can bypass that sensor or just leave it buckled this is probably the easiest and simplest solution but we'll see so yeah i'll wish you luck and yeah sorry didn't tell you the dealer quoted me like 1100 bucks for parts and install i could not find it from anywhere but the dealer so you'd have to go to the dealer pay 1100 bucks get it fixed and then the part can break again or you can go to airbag.com and it was less than 100 bucks including shipping so yeah that was pretty amazing i am just flabbergasted that anyone would replace the actual part when who cares just plug that in it's a less than a tenth of the cost and it fixes the issue it's much less likely to break because it's not getting any wear and tear of being sat on and it'll just be always on which is great so the only downside is you have to leave the seat belt buckled in which i don't think is a huge issue anyway so yeah if you're having that code the b0081 or b0074 um, do some research and um, find your correct vehicle on their website and you can easily fix this issue with just a little sensor so yeah, good luck guys.